So in Northumbrian water, we look after about 29,000 kilometres network of sewers. Those sewers are designed to take the three P's, as we call them, P, poo and paper in the form of toilet paper to our treatment works and pumping station. The problem we've got is people are flushing other items down the toilet. Things such as wet wipes, might say they're flushable um, on the packet, but they ain't. Sanitary products and all manner of other things that are blocking up the network. When the network gets blocked, you can risk flooding in customers' gardens, or customers' properties, or industry as well. So it's a real problem for us. These basins hold about 6 million litres of um, sewage effluent and are designed to be closed down every 5 to 7 years for clean out. We typically have to do them every 2 years um, because of the volume of rags we're getting through. So in here you can typically see wet wipes, cotton buds, tampon applicators and other sanitary products but we get all manner of things coming through our systems. It's absolutely essential that people don't treat their toilet as a bin um, the consequences of doing so can, can be really catastrophic to the environment. Um, we're talking impacts to your bathing waters, to streams and to rivers, um, all of which we want to enjoy ourselves and also you know, it's, it's really important for our wildlife and our aquatic life. People should be fully aware that what you put down your toilet ha has real impacts for the sewer network. Um, we're talking rags, um, cotton buds, sanitary products that shouldn't go down the toilet, they should go in the bin. We've removed approximately 60 tonne of rag up to now. There's been plastic, cotton buds, condoms, you name it, all sorts of different um, things that should be flushed on the loo. Personally, I've found golf clubs, um, bubble bath, plastic Peppa Pig bubble baths, cat litter, for instance. So people are just abusing the system when they could just be putting it in the, in the bin. Yeah.